In 2025, Marvel fans can look forward to an exciting lineup of new movies and shows that promise to expand the ever-evolving Marvel Cinematic Universe. From the long-awaited solo adventure of Sam Wilson as Captain America in Brave New World, to the mysterious team-up of anti-heroes and Thunderbolts, the Marvel Universe is gearing up for fresh narratives and character arcs. Will these new stories deepen the MCU's lore, and what surprises are in store as these tales unfold across screens big and small? Well, to know all about this, this, you have to stay tuned till the end because in today's video, we'll be discussing top Marvel movies to watch out for in 2025. Captain America Brave New World Sam Wilson's journey as Captain America continues in the MCU with Captain America Brave New World, marking his first solo outing in the iconic role. Anthony Mackie, who first appeared as Sam Wilson in Captain America The Winter Soldier, took up the mantle of Captain America following Steve Rogers' departure in Avengers Endgame. This transition was solidified in the series The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, where Sam accepted the shield and embraced his new identity. Scheduled for release on February 14, 2025, Captain America Brave New World promises an exciting continuation of Sam Wilson's story. While specific plot details are sparse, the film features a notable addition to its cast. Harrison Ford joins the MCU as Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross, who now serves as the President of the United States within the story. This role was previously portrayed by William Hurt, whose passing led to the recasting with Ford. In addition to Mackie and Ford, the movie includes returning characters and introduces new faces. Danny Ramirez portrays Joaquin Torres, who assumes the role of Falcon after Sam Wilson becomes Captain America. Carl Lumbly reprises his role as Isaiah Bradley, providing a deeper exploration into his character's backstory. Liv Tyler returns as Betty Ross, and Tim Blake Nelson appears as Samuel Stearns, known as the leader, a significant villain from the comics. Joining the MCU is actress Shira Haas, reportedly playing the Israeli hero Sabra, adding diversity and depth to the superhero roster. Thunderbolts Marvel's bringing together a team of anti-heroes for their new movie Thunderbolts, set to hit theaters on May 2nd, 2025. This marks the first of two team-focused films coming from Marvel that year. The story revolves around characters from previous MCU films who haven't always been the typical heroes, now united to operate under the guidance of Valentina Allegra de Fontaine, played by Julia Louis-Dreyfus. At the helm of the Thunderbolts team is Bucky Barnes, also known as the Winter Soldier, portrayed by Sebastian Stan. Bucky, who has struggled with his past as a brainwashed assassin, takes on a leadership role in this unlikely group of allies. Joining him are some familiar faces from the MCU, including Florence Pugh as Yelena Belova, Black Widow's sister and a skilled operative, Wyatt Russell as John Walker, formerly Captain America and now known as U.S. Agent, David Harbour as Alexei Shostakov, a robust Red Guardian from the Black Widow, Hannah John Kamen as Ava Starr, the intangible ghost from Ant-Man and the Wasp, and Olga Kirilenko as Antonia Drakov, the formidable Taskmaster. Two new additions to the MCU, Geraldine Viswanathan and Louis Pullman, bring their talents to undisclosed roles, adding further intrigue to the team dynamic. Fans are speculating eagerly, especially around Pullman's rumored role as Sentry, a character with complex ties to the Marvel Universe. Thunderbolts promises to explore themes of redemption, moral ambiguity, and unlikely alliances, characteristic of its anti-hero lineup. As Marvel expands its cinematic universe, Thunderbolts stands out as a bold new chapter, blending action-packed heroics with shades of gray that challenge traditional superhero narratives. The Fantastic Four Following Disney's acquisition of Fox's film and TV assets in 2019, Marvel Studios announced a highly anticipated reboot of the Fantastic Four, set to debut on July 25, 2025. This superhero team, known for its iconic status in Marvel Comics, will receive a fresh interpretation under Marvel's cinematic universe. Interestingly, the film is hinted to have a 1960s period setting, as suggested by official artwork. The Fantastic Four will introduce these beloved characters into the MCU, marking their first experience in this expansion of universe. Speculation suggests the possibility of their story being situated in an alternate universe within the MCU multiverse, distinct from the existing continuity. Leading the cast is Pedro Pascal, known for his role in The Mandalorian, portraying Reed Richards, also known as Mr. Fantastic. Vanessa Kirby takes on the role of Sue Storm, known as the Invisible Woman, adding her talent to the ensemble. Joseph Quinn portrays Johnny Storm, aka the Human Torch, while Iman Moss Bakarak embodies Ben Grimm, known as The Thing, completing the core team lineup. 
In addition to the main cast, Julia Garner joins as Shalabal, also known as Silver Surfer, a cosmic entity of immense power. Ralph Ineson is set to portray Galactus, a formidable villain in Marvel lore known for consuming planets. The cast further includes Paul Walter Hauser, John Malkovich, and Natasha Lyonne in undisclosed roles, adding depth to the anticipated narrative. The Fantastic Four promises to blend classic superhero storytelling with fresh perspectives, offering fans a new take on these legendary characters. Blade Marvel's upcoming Blade movie has faced its share of challenges during development, causing delays from its initial 2023 release to now aiming for November 7, 2025. The film stars Mahershala Ali as Blade, a vampire hunter known as the Daywalker. Ali, who previously made a brief uncredited appearance in the Eternals post credit scene, is set to take on this iconic role in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Details about the Blade movie storyline remain under wraps, but it has recently undergone script revisions by Michael Green, known for his work on Logan. Jan Demange, a director of the acclaimed series Lovecraft Country, is helming the project. Alongside Ali, the cast includes Mia Goth and Delroy Lindo, though Aaron Pierre, previously announced for a role, is no longer involved. Blade, a character originally from Marvel Comics, is a unique superhero who possesses the strengths of vampires but uses them to combat evil. Ali's casting has generated significant anticipation given his established talent and previous success in both film and television. With Marvel's track record of bringing complex characters to life, fans are eager to see how Blade's story will unfold on the big screen. Despite production setbacks, the enthusiasm surrounding Ali's portrayal and the potential for a fresh take on the vampire genre within the MCU continues to build anticipation. Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse Sony's highly anticipated conclusion to the Miles Morales animated trilogy, Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse, faced a delay from its original March 29, 2024 release date. In 2023, the movie was removed from Sony's schedule, leaving fans waiting for a new confirmed date, which is yet to be announced. While there is a possibility it could still hit theaters in 2024, the likelihood now points to a 2025 release. Following the dramatic cliffhanger of Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse, Beyond the Spider-Verse continues to be the thrilling saga of Miles Morales. In this installment, Miles finds himself in the clutches of an alternate version of himself who has taken on the persona of the Prowler. Meanwhile, Miles' ally Gwen Stacy gathers a team of friends and heroes to rescue him while he's also pursued by Spider-Man 2099, known as Miguel O'Hara. The movie promises a reunion with familiar faces from the Spider-Verse, including Peter B. Parker, Spider-Punk, Spider-Man India, Spider-Man Noir, and Jess Drew Spider-Woman. Fans can expect a continuation of the groundbreaking animation style that made the previous film so beloved, along with a deeper exploration of the multiverse and the complexities of Miles' journey as a young Spider-Man. Despite the delay, excitement remains high for Beyond the Spider-Verse as it looks to expand on the rich storytelling and diverse characters that have defined the Spider-Verse franchise. Daredevil 2 Born Again after Daredevil's Netflix series was canceled, fans thought they'd seen the end of Charlie Cox's portrayal of Matt Murdock. However, everything changed with a surprise cameo in 2021's Spider-Man No Way Home, marking the return to the MCU. Cox's comeback continued with an appearance in the series Echo, and now he's set to headline his own show, Daredevil Born Again, slated to premiere on Disney Plus in March 2025. Marvel's confirmed that Daredevil Born Again will reunite Cox with other familiar faces from the Netflix series, including Vincent D'Onofrio as Wilson Fisk, John Bernathal as Frank Castle, Alden Henson as Foggy Nelson, and Deborah Ann Wall as Karen Page. The series is expected to delve into new chapters of Murdoch's life, exploring his journey of redemption and justice in the gritty streets of Hell's Kitchen and Ironheart. Introduced in 2021's Black Panther Wakanda Forever, Dominique Thorne debuted as Riri Williams, a character from Marvel Comics with ties to Iron Man. Now Thorne set to reprise her role in the upcoming Disney Plus series Ironheart. This show will explore Riri's origin story, detailing how she creates her own suit of armor inspired by Tony Stark's Iron Man technology. Ironheart promises to delve into her journey as a young genius and inventor, navigating the challenges of balancing her life while harnessing the power of her incredible creation. So which of these Marvel movies movies are you most eagerly awaiting? Let us know in the comments below and please subscribe to our channel.